try to approach it uh, as a bit of a retake. While I set Funnel on to the side, they're going to get in for free. Yeah, this is really interesting. Look at Dogmo, right? He has full utility on this KO. So that's one of the reasons they're waiting to try and play this retake. Good trade there coming out from Bustio on this flank. This round's going to come down to util on KO and this flank from Bustio. Nice shot out of Bustio. And you mentioned it, Aaron was, was wise to the fact that there was pressure coming in. He was able to take care of it first, but wasn't expecting the second. The spike is down, though. As you mentioned, the diffuse has already started. Um, oh my goodness, is he just, just going to tank the whole thing? Oh my gosh! Guys, just at the last second, a 2v, a 2v3, excuse me, in favor of Xset. Foe pushing forward. Foe drops. So it's just way too much, but boy, win. And the rest of the team is angling to commit onto an A-site hit here with this Viper Wall coming up. Keep an eye on Def. Keep your third eye on Def on the mini map. We'll see if he catches any rotations. Slowly but surely, Xset are threatening this push more and more. You've got Cryo, who's at least made his way out. Okay, now they're going to start to funnel out. There was the flank cover that we talked about. Dre's able to push Def off of that angle. While Xset and the rest um, of the attacking team gets a spike down, BCJ manages to Ooh, come to the too. Yeah, and Jogamo gets that pick in mid. That's absolutely huge. Right now, you're seeing Aaron try and play the post plant with the mollies, but they have to come out real quick. Zekin, the same in a 2v4. This is going to be tough. And I thought that snake bite would take forever to land. The flash is there. The nade as well. The swing, Zekin. One, two. And then he's, he's just buying time here. Ah, but there wasn't enough of a delay. Foe's going to get the defuse. Yeah, it ends up working out for them, and it seemed like Cryo was trying to play really far forward on that. Only ended up being a one for one. Ideally... Up at the hands of Bustio right at the beginning of the round. It's like he's testing waters. Paul, I mean, if he's patient enough, he may be rewarded. I like this from Exit though, just cutting noise completely. Yeah, right now the knife just got back up for Jogamo, and you saw last time BCJ tried to use a drone, it instantly got shut down from this cave position. It's one of the reasons why KO can be so strong. Does there look like Zekin wants to start this one off though. It is, but what, what can they do with it? Okay, Zekin falls. My goodness, they haven't made their way out. They keep him at bay. They don't let him pass at all. It's clean. The, the kill feed bleeds blue. You don't play the close angles, right? When your opponents don't have guns, because, you know, they're going to come around to the classic and right click, and you're not going to have any fun. Breeze, very different story. You don't want to take fights against the marshals early. You see there's two of those in Get XSET's hands, way. but EG are doing a very good job of not offering up any early one-on-ones to XSET. And XSET do find God. it, Def, with a great couple of shots. Traded right back at the hands of Reformed. Spike Boy, still in no. caves. They didn't make it past this point. In the previous round, we'll see if they find more success here. The Blade Storm falls. Aaron's able to find some space with the Sheriff and get the spike down. How much more can you do? Man, you've got an op, you've got two rifles. What they, what Aaron does have in his pocket is that Viper's Pit. And maybe, just maybe, Ender, they can find space. They can buy enough time to take this round away. Oh yeah, look at the utility. Double shocks, one Molotov, two flashes. Zekin just uses the first there, so Xset do have some winning chances here in this round. Aaron, can he find Bustio on the side? He's gonna be able to, that's two quick kills. Xset take the round. Nice. That very well, thrifty round win for Xset, and then seeing a very similar look to some of the early rounds with some early elbow pressure out of your boy Dre and Bustio, but for the time being, Xset aren't ever really putting much attention in mid. It's just been death lurking there in a couple of rounds where they've been able to find good time. Mm, knife gets a little bit of info. I believe just tag Zekin. Oh, very nice. Cry. Oh, yep. Lurked into halls. Is able to take care of one member, but how much more can they get? You've got such a good setup. If Def is not taken care of, well, it might not matter. If Zekin just continues to do this on the site, <laughs> the guy just makes it look easy. Forget about the flank. Forget about the support. He's just going to win the round himself. Xet gets a five. Sure, the door's going to open, and, and Cryo has an opportunity here to get this pick against Jogamo. Mm, that's a big trade. The Hunter Fury's gonna come out as well. And and much like we've seen the last couple of rounds, Ender, like there's trades and ultimates, there's trades and utility, but they don't fully commit. Oh, Zekin's absolutely pinned here in the corner. Can't run away either. This flash, they're gonna know he's still hiding there, but BCJ comes around to help him out. They're gonna get that trade as Zekin does burn out. But now, Def has this forward positioning up in yeah. mid, gets the pick off of knowing Bustio was in halls, and the rest of the team can make their way over towards the B site. 
Boy, that's pretty. And we saw a depth in this position a couple of rounds ago, but on the opposite side, his job is to cut off rotations to make sure there's no flanks coming through. And he does so well in this round to cut that early wave off. But now left. the rest is going to be wrapping in through. Uh, defender spawn. We'll see if he chooses to reflank the flank. Uh, so to speak, as the rest of the members of Exet get towards B, the spike is going to break it down at the hands of BCJ, unless Foe has something to say about it. It delays it, at least for now. No, no, that he's, yeah, he's not wow. going to get any tags. That's so unfortunate. Foe had full util, right? He sent out the dart a little bit earlier. Now he's going for the drone. Maybe could have tried to play for the tag, but was really trying to kill that planter. Now Exet, they've, they've got some util of their own to work with, just hiding in backside. And again, death from tunnel is going to be almost impossible to clear. Exet have such a good position in this post plant. Going for it. I thought they might save. You mentioned death being almost impossible to clear, clear and so far so good. It's just Dre. Met, he had that ult that you mentioned. He's choosing to go forward. One is all he's going to get as BCJ takes care of him. Exet get to six. Thing here for Exet. Very strong on the fly and getting some kills here to start things off too. And that's the same look that we saw out of Evo Geniuses on the pistol, right? It was that exact same setup. There was nobody there to contest it the first time. This time there was a bit of action uh, and they managed to take care of Cryo on the way, but... Well, okay. <laughs> that's certainly going to help. No okay. shot. Gray's good for three here. He still has two shots left, but he only has eight HP. A sliver. Oh, look at the flank. Look at the flank. Look where Jogmo is. He's in a great position. He sees the spike, but he won't be able to see any of these players on the attacking side. Death has worked through tunnel. If he finds reformed over by Arches, it could be huge. Reformed no finds shot. him, and your boy Dre is good for four. Oh. The one to drop the switch. Take a peek, and you know, one instance got a kill, a second got drop, but this time, Cryo getting a little antsy mid. Lucio has to dash away, two HP left. Oh, where's the follow up? There it is. Oh, BCJ had back up as well. It wasn't just then, there were layers to the layers, my friends, as Xset get all that they want here in the opening moments of this round, a 5v3 in favor of the attacking side. Man, Bustio and your boy Dre have been hunting down mid to try and get that duo play to work out with them for so many rounds, and there haven't been enough players there from Exet for them to kill. The first round, we actually see it. It's Exet that absolutely shut them down. Cryo takes down Reformed, who's just isolated on the site. Exet are gonna work it up to seven, and it's, it's a prime message up through tunnel. And there's there's just no information that EG are, get, are getting here. The wall yeah. went up from Aaron to cut off A, they used drone to get through double doors. They didn't see anything. Oh, but it may not matter. Okay, Joji, he falls. ECJ does as well, but Reformed is in a spot where he may be able to rest, but no, look at Death. Death has the spike, Huge. and Death was going in. Spike down, B. Gorgeous shot there coming out from Reformed to shut that one down. Aaron on the lurk up through mid. A little bit unfortunate. It's actually, Jogmo uh, <laughs> times out. Couldn't get an assist. Reformed, though, says, I don't need to res my teammate. I'll just get a 3k and win the round for EG. So very nicely done. Into caves. What do Exit do around this? You hear the, you see the blade storm online for Cryo. He's taken full hall control. Looks like they're going to try to pinch around. So you imagine the door. Yeah, the door is going to go up. There goes the ult as well. The Hunter series coming online. Cryo's only able to get one, but Fall goes mad. He drops two from Exet. Aaron working around, able to land the shot. One tries to snap around for the second. Isn't able to do so. Through that, a 3v3 is what remains. And they somehow managed to get on side and get the spike down anyway. The KO body oh, times out. BCJ fighting over that new box. What a mess. Death stuck in this one versus three now. Oh, he's oh, one. Ah, he wasn't able to do anything, man. You're right. It was a 1v3. He had utility all over him. The Cosmic Divide, the Viper's Wall. There was just way too much going on. EG, it didn't look good, but they managed to get back to a 7-5 half. We're going to throw it to a break when we return the second half of... On the attacking side of things for EG. They're already on site. Again, it's, it's just a full five-player retake coming through from the defenders. Shock Dart. They've done a little bit, yeah. See Jogamo took a good bit of damage there, but the spike, as you mentioned, has already been planted. It's ticking away. Gray. Ooh, look at that retake wall. Out of dodge. Yeah, but what can they do around it? Look, Zekin's already gotten onto it. Fo with the dart should get some decent info, but he's got so much more in front of him that he can't effectively take care of everything around him. Dre plays back the defuse pump. Chamber trip. There's no cypher trip in this hall's area, so you can make these spawn pushes that wasn't an option for Exet when they were on attack. 
Swarm gets an opener under death. No Astro Util to speak of for the rest of this round. You have to remember, I said, is on the still, it's bonus. You got Spectres uh, and a Marshall to work with while EG on much more firm footing. Dogmo gets a spike down. Dre spots second, jumping around, and lands the shots onto him. Second gets a surprisingly large amount of damage out there. Your boy Dre taken down to just 25 HP. And Dogmo playing very far forward. EG are just ripping Exit apart. And, you know, the truth is, there's not a ton they really could have... Yeah, you're not going to find him with the knife here as EG busted out on the B. Dogmo channeling that ult early on. You mentioned they bust on to B, and they managed to do so really for at, at the cost of very little, right? Like, there's nobody contesting. They did invest some util to get there. What they haven't met is really any resistance up until this point. Now, Exit are going to be able to approach this thing from a 5v5 retake. Note, they are a couple with light armor. Zekin's already taken a substantial amount of damage. And I love this from Evil Geniuses. They're taking the fight to their doorstep. And Exit has been picked apart up until this point. Oh, absolutely insane. Bustio feeling it, pushing over towards Arches. Death going to get a rude awakening here with Jogamo if the shots can ever land, which they do at the end of it all. So EG string together. So comfortable walking on through this opening. They don't even check. Oh, info. My goodness, he spotted one. The drone is a second. Oh, there it is. There he pulls the trigger. Manages to take care of one. How much more? Oh, yeah, Cryo falls. Boom, that's a big kill. You see pressure coming in across mid as well as Bustio gets one of his own. But keep an eye on BCJ. He's yes. on the flank as well. Now they're going to be able to wrap around EG and trap him in. He's there so quickly. You also have death over in elbow. So they're going to let the spike go down onto the ground. And as for the retake, they do have a dart, but I don't know if BCJ wants to shoot that immediately. He'd love to see someone try and fight him here, and he does have eyes on that chamber TP, so if these two players can force your boy Dre to TP, he can get oh, that, that kill. that was big, man. That was so big, but BCJ and Def both fall. It just falls onto air, and is that going to be enough? One, pushing his way forward. Time running out. Options limited as well. Trying to play off of any information he can get, any audio cues he can find, but he falls. Bustio takes care of him. EG have, as far as guns, they may not have much as far as ultimates, but what they have managed to take, at least early in this round, is space and a kill you early on. Look at the mid pressure. Play. Look at the kill already onto Bustio. How much more can they get, though? Yeah, Zekin even falls back after they get that kill. Like, no, 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 we have numbers advantage. Let's just try and play a five on four. No matter what we have in our hands, but you can't peek into this chamber operator. This presence will be detected, and Jogamo just continues to try and farm up those ult orbs. He's only one away now, and they can try and re-aggress into halls. They have to be a little bit concerned, because the last time there was an eco of Exet, there was just a shotgun sitting up there, so they don't want to push all the way down in that area. But I think even with Cryo's position, he can sort of jiggle here and try and see if there's going to be a rotation back towards B, which isn't going to come through. They're going to walk straight back into this A site. Can the knife hit Aaron? That's the question. Can you shut that all down? And they can't. The wall's going to be able to come up. This is huge for the eco. Still some time. The Hunter's Fury comes out. Death dancing around the utility before him as Aaron does as well. And they're able to get two of their own. But foe, his Hunter Fury manages to take care of one. But they're far from out of the woodworks. EG fall apart. Exit take the round. It was sick. I mean, the snake bite, the, the fragment from the KO as well. Just trying to catch that jet forcer to dash out of there and even take a little bit of chip damage on the back end. Absolutely big. Both KOs still with the null command ready to go, and we're ready. Let's get onto the site. EG one. Oh, instantly falls. See if Zekin chooses to use his. He's on the site, but he may not need to. No, he doesn't need to. But reformed and fall. They get two of their own. They pull it right back in. A 3v3. You still got the op in the hands the push. of Cryostubbies. So far off, but the flank not able to find any value as reformed falls. Jogamo does as well. It all falls down. On to foe. He's got 30 HP. He's got no HP. X set get to 11. Oh, what a play right at pistol round strap. The, the full five retake again. Holding on to the Viper Wall too to, to try and play that post plant. EG spending a little bit to get on site with the jet dash as well as the Viper's pit coming down. You can see that Viper Wall to play the, the post plant, play the retake. The flank also coming in from Busio, or rather oh, Cryo. Big. That's so big. BCJ getting that kill. The f oh no! Oh, oh. You know Timing, my friends. Timing. Cloudburst goes out. All right, Zekin. Using his ultimate, the flash, to go in as he creeps his way forward. Instantly gives his face back. Spike ticking away. Evil geniuses have already lost two. Make that three. And it's going to be a counter ultimate. Zekin falls. Reform. What more can you find? That's it. 
He's not going to get anything to it. Exeter going to get to 12 without dropping a single member. It's so nice. I love that call coming out from Exet because you know what they're thinking, right? They're like, we have no Command. They have Viper's Pit. They're going to try and pop that one and play on site inside of it. All of a sudden, you have the no Command for the retake. You're just fighting them in there. They can't. Alternative to the Operator try to win this round. But again, early drone down towards Hall's Reform. Doesn't give away oh, Bustio's no. position. And Zekin yep. takes the bait. Hook, line, and sinker. What a great little play from EG. And with that... EG have options, right? Like, oh, and, yeah. and you see, the, you see the how they how Exet, excuse me, have to reinvest some of what they have there. Now they're leaning fur, furthermore on site. You've still got Def who's playing in halls. Bustio, oh, Def's not careful yet. He oh, fell. No. Bustio was able to get a second. And trying to push so far okay. forward, past past the Viper wall on defense. They just tried to play into A main, catch EG a little bit by surprise. Didn't work out for them and. Now EG are on the site, a cloud burst to try and get the cross through double doors, but BCJ finds a third. I mean, he's been a hero for Exit in this round. He was able to get a second, and as you said, a third. Cryo gets the last. It all falls down to one. It looks so good for Evil Geniuses. Dre's left alone. You've got to swing around. BCJ gets four as 